Welcome. Welcome, everybody, to Obelisk 36. Looked like an incredible bracket we have for y'all today. I'm, of course, your host, Bluetooth. Bluetooth, coming back at you with another Obelisk. I know we sadly had to miss out on Obelisk 35, but we have Obelisk 36 here. We got John Wick. We got Gia 76. We got Oops a Cow. And then we got Marvin the Third. Marvin the freaking Third going to be an incredible top four you know in winner's bracket we got for winner's finals we got john wick versus gia two great players one representing uh, team evil led by uh, sdl and then we got gia representing team ultra instinct uh currently being led by uh captain by indoors led by shaggy powers previously Shout out. And we got Oops a Cow from Team Birdcage, my team. I'm going to try to hold back my biases as best I can. But, you know, if I'm popping off for my teammate, please excuse me. And then we got Marvin representing Team Nemesis. Team Nemesis. Shout out to the Greeks. Shout out to Greece. Much love. I believe that's uh, headed by... Uh, Kostos or Kostas? I, I always forget how to pronounce the name. But shout out to Greece. <laughs> oh man, why, why is my chat not popping up here? Um, give me one second, everybody. Let me uh, see about getting the stream chat active for me here. I mean, it's not working. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. You're going to be starting about eight minutes, but I thought I would start the stream early. Just to get some people coming in, you know, had to disappear on their feeds. And just chill out for a little bit. Maybe we can talk, discuss some things involving the bracket. One of these winners, whoever wins this, is getting a world's invite. Keep that in mind. Whoever was winning this is getting an invite to Worlds. The World Championship 2024 for GOAT format. And if you want to get yourself a, a world's invite in the future, join the GOATformat.com Discord. Get involved in it. Get involved in the GoFormat Europe Discord. Get involved with that. Play the Cyphers. Play the Raws. Play the Obelisk. Win. Get an invite. More info on the GoFormat Europe Discord. Jesus Gonzalez. I know that's Betchy. OG Betchy 21. Short for Original Gangsta Betchy 21. Have a good stream. Wish you the best. I appreciate you. Have a great Friday, my brother. I know your teammates out. Well, former teammate, but you know, friend. Your friend. John Wick is out here trying to secure that invite. So I know you're excited about that. Looks like they might be starting early. Depending on if there's correspondence between them, we will see. Who do y'all who do y'all want out there? Viewers watching, who do y'all want to take home the gold? Or in this case the blue, because it's obelisk. <laughs> Let me know in the chat. And while you're here, go ahead and like the stream. Get the algorithm bumping. Get the algorithm 
bumping. And if you haven't, subscribe. Subscribe. Share the stream. Like the stream. Make sure everybody in the world is watching. Like a Mr. Beast video. Get them watching. Share it. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm having a great time out here. I know I don't got cam in any, but you could, I, I'm vibing out to this music. I'm having a great time. Always love being on stream when I can. So I'm, I'm super, super excited for his obelisk. And it's going to be some good matches. These are all good players. If you think any of these players are lacking, you're a fool. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> we get some correspondence from John Wick. Currently dealing with a medical issue. Be back home by uh, one to one twenty. Soon this Eastern happened this morning. That's not good. Hopefully everything's okay with John Wick. Our judge uh, is going to be Lejuan Fox. He'll be making sure that everything's running smoothly in the bracket. John Wick, hopefully everything is going to be okay with him. Um, this hospital visit. Everything's going to be okay, hopefully. Who's cooking? Nobody yet, JDZ. They're going to be starting up the bracket very shortly. I'm excited. We're getting correspondence. People are, are kind of finishing up what they got to do. John Wick has a medical emergency, so he'll be back later to play his match. But I got all day. I got all day. And uh, it looks like Oops a Cow. We finalizing. He's got to do before he can play against M -m 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 Marvin the, the, the third. I need some dueling action now. I agree. I want to see Oops versus Marvin. ASAP. No Rocky. We're going to be starting with Oops a Cow versus Marvin. Let's see if they are getting in there. Get that action going. We will see. Oops a Cow's hosting. See if he's gonna play here. This is Goldeneye. <laughs> it's waiting for him to begin. Is Marvin online? Marvin is online. Who's the cow better win? I have money writing on this? Money? Someone say money? Well, how much you put in on this? Going from the begin here. They're both online. They're both willing participants. What's up, Nova? Oh, shit. Sorry about that, everybody. There we go. 
Dr. Cow is hosting. Get the duelist action of the music. This is from uh, Smash Bros. for Wii U. is already hosting match will be beginning very soon Kelbuk to take the go from that dueling PC to the hospital and get his game on I that would be awesome if you what that would be some trooper behavior <laughs> some trooper behavior okay looks like they're playing I don't see them I don't see them Snack saying, let's go Gia. Snack YGO, shout out. Supporting Gia of the Ultra Instinct organization. There they are. Let's go. We got a game. Nate Dog, also from the Ultra Instinct uh, Shadow Government, saying, go Gia. All right, Gia fans in the chat, love to see it. Love Gia. Great player. Now y'all know who I want to win here. I'm going to put my personal biases aside. And we are going to get our game on. Marvin's going first. Get ready for some dueling action. Let's go. Let's get it. Winner plays uh, the winner between John Wick and Gia. They have not played their match yet because John Wick had a medical emergency. He will be back later to play in about an hour, he said. <laughs> Marvin summoning Abyss Soldier setting too. Now people, if you know about Marvin, Marvin's a, an aggressive warrior type of player. So to see this Abyss Soldier is kind of shocking here. We're going to get a duo from Oops a Cow. Marvin letting it go. Yo, how do you customize Dueling Book to look like that? Elite Lawless. This is using StyleBot. It's a free plugin you can get that customizes any web page you want uh, to look however you want. And I made it look like this. This is a lot of pictures that I uploaded Imgur or found online, and then uh, I changed the dual field to uh, have like a monochrome filter to it. So it's not like super bright colors. It's a little, you know. Let's see, we got a T set from Oops a Cow after that. Marvin pitches the uh, second abyss in a nobleman. Marvin hitting into the set faith. Grabbing back duo. Y'all efforts don't want me to go to bed, it seems. Exactly. Stay up. I don't know. I don't know what time it is for you, Yu Gi Oh! Legend 15. I don't care what your time is. You're staying up. You're watching action. It is like Die Hard as Marvin sets one pass. We got Jog. Bluetooth, are you playing in the War League Go Format Dueling Tournament tomorrow? I hear it is open to anyone and has world invites. Ah, So happy for you to mention that, Nate Dog. Yes, I will be playing tomorrow at the GOAT Format War League GOAT Format World War One. Uh, it's the major is happening tomorrow on the Go Format War League Yu-Gi-Oh! server. More information can be found in the GoFormat.com Discord, as well as an invite link to that server. World War One. For me, it starts at 8 a.m. I will be playing. It's Coach J. I know it's you. I know it's you. That's why it's so funny to call you Yu-Gi-Oh! Legend 15. It's such a good name. DGZ forever. 
My boy John Wick will clear the table, says Riku Nermi. Much love. We're going to crash the Kaiku into the Abyss Soldier. Feeling some pressure here as we get the duo rolling again. There goes Tribe. All the Aquas. The Aqua Trifecta, the Triforce. This Dawn is flipped up and is about to get active. About to hit for 14. No defenses. Guaranteed to go in here for some damage. And hitting the Breaker. That's pretty strong. But I will be playing tomorrow. I will be playing tomorrow. I got Pac-Man loaded and ready to roll. Ready to rumble. <laughs> Which account? Summoning Blade Knight. I'm gonna try to swing. Blade Knight looking a little feeble at 16. We have a book from Marvin. The main deck book coming in. The world's greatest minus one. Here comes Arota. It's going to get active again. Oops, a cow not having any sets. Uh, looking a little scary here, but, you know, maybe if it's not something that you're summoning or setting, maybe it's okay to let go to the Dawn. We don't know. But the Dawn is plusing here. Second discard of the day. Pitching is aboard. Okay. Dark and lights have been set up for a while. Um, what was it? Aqua Spirit is set up in Marvin's grave. Could be some exciting plays going on. Which accounts thinking. What could Oops a Cow be thinking about here? Here comes another Blade Knight. We got two Blade Knights on the board. Warrior versus Thunderclap. That's what it's looking to be, Coach J. As we hit for 200 damage. Connects, it cracks in. This Exile Force is going to pop. Blade Knight going to come in for another 2,000. Really scary here. If this is ring, you're kind of in trouble. Oops, a cow. Stand by face. They're still even on cards. Oh, but I spoke too soon. Oops, a cow has a pot of greed. Getting a little greedy out here. See if SSJ says Warrior Pile. I think we've, uh, I think we've, Warrior Pile is 2023, 2024 is Thunderclap. Might, might look like the same deck. Might be the same deck. I'm not here to debate that. But Warrior Pile, so 2023. As a Zombira is coming out. And there's a TT from Marvin. Does not want to trade. Uh, does not want to, to lose to Zombira. And there is the call. To steal the deal. Game one goes to Marvin. GG's all around, and they start to side. <laughs> that Don was just getting active, man. It was just getting active, and it was just going in. Marvin's thinking about his side. You can see that animal creature Pokemon. That's the thinking. I should I should I should have said that earlier. That's the that's the thinking emote, okay? That's my thinking emote. So don't be confused if you see that. That's not like a virus or nothing. You didn't get infected. That's just the thinking emote. <laughs> Do not be alarmed. We go into game two. Oops, starting it off this time. Oops, in love with this duo. Coming out again. Third time that Oops has resolved this uh, duo, this match. This 
music has me lit. I love this music, man. This goes hard. Air Force and Dawn come out. And the sets will play. You get a quadruple set here. Your booth is so much cleaner than mine. You have a nice booth, JDZ. No shame. Oh, and there's a heavy storm. We're going to Solomon. Okay. And there's a duo. That's the fourth duo. Count them up. I think we've seen one pot and a duo here. As we flip summon, and there's a bottomless trap hole. What's going on in the center? What is that? <laughs> okay. That's kind of strange. I've never seen that before. It was like a weird circle of energy on Marvin's side of the field. What was that? <laughs> never seen that before. As he sets over it. Very Dragon Ball of Marvin to have an energy ball. The Big Noodle Goo, says Nate Dog. Is Big Noodle claim? Oh, yeah, it is the bottomless that Big Noodle used. This is the same bottomless that Big Noodle used in the um, Go Format France tournament, I believe it was. Solemn the Breaker. Solemn the Breaker is interesting. So what could that set be? If we're worried about the Breaker. Very interesting. It's oops, just passes. It's not flip up the set here. What is that? There's an Abyss Soldier. Is oops, let it go. Or do we see some action coming out here? Oops, gives the okay. And there's a widespread ruin sending the Abyss Soldier into the <laughs> Abyss. <laughs> Music out draws per turn. What is Oops a cow thinking here? He's thinking. We got tribe. There it is. It's Warrior Lady. Marvin's thinking on using the effect. Do you use the effect? I mean, banishing the tribe is a uh, particularly bad idea. Yep, there you go. Banishing them. What is that ball of energy right there? What is that? Adds a layer of mystery to the duel as this strange anomaly occurs on the dueling zone. There's gonna be pot of greed from Marvin. Oops, allows it. And coming down is the breaker. Breaker effect. Hitting the ring, the ring. Sends the breaker to shambles. And Oops has his own pot. Off the crack back. And his draws. And there's the set faith. Holy moly. We're doing two pots in one turn. Let's go. Oops, a cow is super up on cards now. With the assistance of this moth. And there's a heavy. Is there a lethal line? And the Saku. There's the Mobius. And that is game two. Going to a game three. Oops. Has secured the life points there. GG's all around. As Oops account, Marvin prepare for their final encounter. Marvin finished sighting very quickly. Maybe reconfiguring his side, knowing that he's going second.
Nice, my money is still in. How much did you put down? Not Phil. How much did you put down? I need to know. <laughs> Here we go. Game three. Marvin starts. Assumingly. Yep, here we go. Marvin is starting. What is this? What is that? As Marvin sets one. And summon Sasuke in attack position. Can oops counter that play? Arvin gives the okay, no shoots. Oops stinking now in main phase one. Let's see what he's got cooking. Let's see what he is brewing right now. Thinking. It says think. There's a tribe. No negate, says Marvin. Will there be a priority? And there is pitching the dawn. There's bottomless. Vanishing the tribe. Now, do you have maybe a premature burial? That might be nice to have in this predicament. We are going to pass on. There's pot of greed off the top rope. Like Randy Savage. And there's Graceful. Dropping down as well. Pitching the Saku. And... Tribe. And there's Duo. The full trinity. Oh, no. That's not good. Hitting the exiled. And hitting the blade knight. There's the rota. Going for a dawn. Utsukao will be on two cards at the start of his turn. That's not good. On one hand, I need to root for Oops since he's playing clap. But on the other hand, he eliminated me. What do I do? You got a root for oops here, man. Look at his cards. There's a duo. Trying to equalize what he can't. There's a solemn. Oh, no. Set one. Can he protect himself here? There's Kaiku. Can he withhold? It's Moth. Yeah, out here. Yeah, the Rota. Maybe try to stabilize yourself here with a, a possible Zombira. Things are not looking good here. Oops, has kind of got his back against the wall, but there's a heavy! Holy smokes. Hitting Mirror Force and Brain Con. We're going to Rota. Thinking about his target here. And just like that, Oops is... Is, is seeing a uh, potential chance to get himself back in as we do get the Zombira. Zombira is going to hit the Kaiku. And now Marvin has to answer this guy. How much does this guy weigh? I've been checking, checking the field a little bit here before he goes in. Oops is still at one cart. There's a Dawn. Oh, not Dawn. There's an Exile Force. Oh, man. He's going to make a mill too. Kaiku and a Zombira hit the grave. Things are not looking amazing. 
Oops, accounts check and grave. Viewing banished. Two lights are banished. No lights in grave. And we pass. Oh, no. And there's Sangan for exact damage. Wow. Very unfortunate. Yep, there's the BOS. Maybe this had to be a light. Maybe this had to be the, um... Kaiku. Not Kaiku. No, I mean the Sasuke. Sorry, I was looking at the Kaiku here. Maybe this had to be uh, the Blade Knight or even the Sasuke. Unfortunate. Good games all around. But that leads... Sad, my money lost. <laughs> my money. Well... Let's see here. Wait for the bracket to update. And, uh, I think now we just have to wait because... Well, for those who do not know, John Wick had a medical emergency and is not able to immediately play right now in the Winter Finals against uh, Gia76. Oops had no business even being in that. <laughs> oh, after yeah, exactly. Yeah, it it was all it was the world against uh, Oops in that match. In that game specifically. So Marvin moves on to Losers Finals. And then yeah, we are now going to be waiting for a little bit for the match between John Wick and Gia. Gia beat me to curse bracket. People love Gia out, out here in the chat. Um... Oops, a cow played it right, played it tight. Uh, you know, hindsight's everything. I feel like the Zombier was still uh, off the road. It was still a good play, but obviously, in hindsight, it could have been the maybe a third Blade Knight if he uh, kept it in. Maybe he just didn't have it. I, actually, no, it was the second Blade. He would have had uh, had out of a second Blade Knight, but maybe he just didn't have it in deck. You know. Maybe side of the mount in favor of more Zambiras. It happens. Getting correspondence from Fox here. Let me know what you want to do for stream. If you want to wind it down for the next hour ish, that's fine. You could play whatever you want. But yeah, it, it looks like it'll be my show. This is all a ruse. You're in my show. I'm just kidding. Um, what do y'all want to see? Do y'all want to see some action from a duelist of sorts? Nobody's playing in War League, which makes us super awkward right now as I figure out what to do. The Friday begins... <laughs> in a little over 40 minutes <laughs> so i can't really dig into that bracket either <laughs> it's blevin playing it's blevin playing oh some is playing please <laughs> yo two since it's downtime what's your favorite undis liga club the what oh we can't put this on What's a Bundesliga club? What about Grace? What about my good friend Grace? Shout out Grace. Subscribe to Grace. Is this content? It's content. We got content, boys. As we have Grace taking on Zogler. <laughs> Another member of Team Nemesis. <laughs> <laughs> German Football League. Oh. 
Oh, I see, I see, I see. To be fair, 7710B, shout out. Shout out. Master Duel Code. I'm not on Master Duel. We're watching Grace play fairies. I'm not on Master Duel. We're watching Zogler versus Grace. I'm not on Master Duel. People saying Baruja. Which one? Baruja. Oh, Russia. Baruja. Grace had the, the stones, it looked like. Duo pot. Reaper. Oh, I need to like, take off this text. My fault, everybody. Um, I'm just going to put this as waiting. <laughs> waiting. Uh, I'm waiting very patiently and understandably so for John Wick's return. As we set one pass. Zogler, setting one. If you're not subscribed to Grace, by the way, if you are ever interested at all in understanding um, rogue decks in GOAT format, or if you just have a burning passion for balls, follow Grace on YouTube. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. Spelt the same way you see on screen right here. Give him a follow, a subscription, like the video, and if you see him on Discord, tell him, hey, say, hey, how's it going, buddy? Ultra Instinct YouTube channel. <laughs> the Ultra Instinct Shadow Government YouTube channel just appeared in chat saying, yo, what's up, Tube? Can we get some UI bias rolling please Gia playing soon there's a lot of love for Gia in the chat ultra instinct the ultra instinct as this spy gets flipped up need maximum pump for then I'm excited for the match I'm I'm personally excited for the match fun fact one of the first um go format events I saw happen um in my lifetime <laughs> was i believe it was gia versus john wick in the finals of a pwcq around this time last year if i remember that right so this is actually coming back kind of full circle for me it's kind of it's, it's kind of intriguing how that worked out grace is thinking gia is all right and all but john wick is evil can't beat the Care Bears. I I got some word the other day about the possibility of the Care Bears branching out to the Hello Kitty team, and I'm super thankful that you're getting the Hello Kitty team. That's got it. That should be the. I I still stand by the fact that the the Care Bears get blown out by Hello Kitty in terms of aesthetics. Like there's no there's no comparison. There's no comparison at all. Is that Nate modding the chat? <laughs> Too bad for the warrior players that Wick is playing as we get the virus coming out, pitching Venus, popping the tokens. <laughs> Let's get some polls going. Option A, Gia. Option B, Gia. <laughs> we got a book setting the BLS here. LMAO, IDK, how to do polls. I don't know. I don't know how to do polls either. I'm not actually signed in on this chat that I'm looking at. Um, we got reasoning. A reasoning. Calling for eight. There's a crane for your troubles. Yeah, I technically have mod roll. There's no technicality about it. Okay. How about this? I'll run a poll here. Gia fans, type one. Wick fans, type two. There we go. That's how we do it. <laughs> type one in chat. <laughs> or type two. 
as we get this crane again. Riku Nurmi says, UI, that pull would be good. Only way she's winning this. Wow. Shots are fired off here. We got a bunch of ones. A bunch of ones coming in. What up, Melted? Okay, who is this? <laughs> one, 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 one. Ultra Instinct and Nate Dog going in on the ones. Riku typing two. <laughs> Graceful Charity pitching calling heavy from the pot he drew. <laughs> Lady K got to me. The swarm of one is so funny. As we pre mat for another crane to draw again. Zogler is just non stop drawing. Shout out to Ultra Instinct, man. Y'all are y'all are too funny. And shout out to Evil too. I like I like Evil. Granted, SDL thinks I'm the worst player in, in the league. So Next two is <laughs> is getting modded. Don't test me. <laughs> this BLS can flip summon. We're just gonna swing in. There's a book. <laughs> the book coming in again. Two books. We could type two with evil emojis surrounding it. We got a true nade coming through. Grace chaining go. Just getting some protection here. You know, it's kind of nice up until Zogler pulls out the par shaft. Then you're kind of asking for trouble. You don't have to love evil. You just love me for heart. Grump, I'm going down. Hold the wick for me. <laughs> oh, the wick, the wick hers. Oh, that can't, that's no sound. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> I do like the twist on the logers though. The lo the loger fan base. The Zoids, it was just the Zoids. It's funny to me. <laughs> yeah, Zogler and Grace is a culture. This is not okay. Culture instinct. This is not the obelisk. We are since the loser bracket has already been concluded. We are now waiting on uh, John Wick to return from his medical emergency. And I found these two goats playing. This is, I think, is just ranked. I don't even know if it's ranked or not. As we banish a light in the dark. These are two outstanding gentlemen, though. Uh, shout out to both these players. I see what he's doing. Okay, he wants to get this uh, main phase two banished going here. Darkfire hitting a token. We just side lighting right now. We are, we are. If you want to, if you want to be on stream and you're playing, let me know. I'll get some cameras on you up until we, I get word that we are back in motion. But it looks like we have about an hour uh, for Gia versus John Wick, and we're and I'm here hunting for content. I'm content hunting right now as Grace banishes. A dark and a light for a Sork countering the other Sork here. You better hope that Zogler doesn't have another book. He doesn't, as we set one. We <laughs> just side light. That's funny. It was a last second uh, emergency, medical emergency. So, couldn't predict it, couldn't stop it, you know. Only so much you can do in that situation as Zogler is thinking. Check the grave. As we just put everything in defense position. And uh, possibly call it a day. Oh, we, we said another one. Okay. Zogler is somehow on the back foot. 
pick a random ladder match between unknown players and commentate like it's world final. <laughs> I would do that if JDZ was in the booth with me. Oh my goodness, that would be so funny. Lower range, <laughs> the better. And while we wait, I'm going to put up the... While we wait, I'm going to take off the Ombolisk logo and go back to this for now. We got TT coming through, flipping faith, grabbing back pot. The greed. We got pot of greed. I do want to see how this match ends here. We are in game two, though. We'll see how this ends. I love both these players regardless. We have a pre-mat. A p -p -p pre mat For Sork. We're going to swing, and there's goats. I know y'all want Parshaf so bad. I know y'all want Parshaf so freaking bad right now. I know Grace is just like, in my fairy deck, I need this Parshaf right now. Just imagine how, how plus you'd be. You know? Zoggler's on the back draw right now, and you're just constantly just drawing two each turn. You're just slamming into these goat tokens like it's 2013. A dim fuse? Oh. Okay. Okay. And now Grace gets to summon a bunch of stuff here. The BLS returns. The Reaper returns. This is a lot of stuff. I don't know. A lot of stuff coming out gives Grace a lot of time to figure out the next play here. But the Fusilier able to swing on the Sork is unfortunate. You can go main phase one. Grace trying to figure out what to do. What do you do in this situation? It'd be a lot more easier if you had Snatch. I don't think Snatch is in the hand. I think we're going to have to set and pass. You have some time. It's not like there's an immediate danger here. I mean, the Fusilier is, is scary. And the circuit being able to pick off this Reaper is unfortunate. But, you know, it could be a lot worse. Things could be a lot worse. You know, he's only at 300. Could be a lot worse here as we set. And does Grace have ring? He has goats. It is not ring. It is goats. It's goats. So now what do you do? We're going to meta. Meta for the tier. Now we grab the Fusilier. Because, well, hmm. That's fine. We just crash into it. That one. Just ram our face into it. Goats in goat format. What the... Uh... I know. That's a top deck and a half. <laughs> This tier is going to walk, though. Look at him. This tier is massive. 2,800. Let's check and see if Songer can top deck like a BLS, possibly. And he can. The BLS has not been um, displayed. Neither has the mock. So, a little worrying. More so the BLS than the mock, but. John Wick update. I am just waiting on the wound care specialist. Then I can Uber back. I'll keep everyone updated. Wow. 
He's on his way back. I think he said the drive to the hospital is 40 minutes. So I'm assuming back will be about the same. So we got about we got some time. We got some time. As the tear slams up on these innocent goat tokens. These guys didn't do nothing. They didn't do anything. It's just scapegoats. These are just a bunch of goats. Dogler sets one. And we're going to hit the goat. And there's threatening roar. You can't declare an attack. This tier cannot eat up more goats. What's Grace thinking? Is Grace thinking of a plan? He passes. Maybe he's just double checking the amount of reasonings around in the monster gates. And there's the true nade. Uh oh. That Fusler is going to come back on his side of the field. Kind of taking out the, the wind underneath this tier. Grace thinking, does he have a solemn? It's a book! What's up, Tooth? How are you? Is this live? We are live! A HNVB. My good friend, HNVB. Shout out. We are live. Uh, we are just waiting for John Wick to return home so we can continue the obelisk antics. This is Cyberjar! Oh, that's scary. Oh, uh oh, heal less and sork, and there are plenty of lights and darks. Uh oh, Zogler, I think might be able to, to nail it in here or be very close to it. Might be 100 off. If he does not have the normal summon. Cyberjar and Reasoning? Okay, that's right. Swords! So now you know exactly which one is which. The Moth Flip. There's Vortex! I didn't even notice the Vortex. Went to hand. Oh, and that's just game. Yeah, I did not even notice the Vortex. I was just paying attention to the Sork BLS. Oh. Cyberjar MVP GG. Zogler comes out victorious with that Cyberjar in reasoning. That was crazy. Oh. All right, let's go find some ladder duelists. Let's see here. Who's playing? Who's playing? <laughs> Who's playing? Everybody is that's playing is kind of high. This is kind of low. Let's take a look here. We're summoning Sork. Game one. Go Timber. Versus Phil DeFerro. As we swing for 300, make him discard his last card. It is Night Assailant. Grab him back on Maw off. That's kind of nice. Go Timber went through full Trinity and the TDs. Can you believe it? This is a tough position for Phil. Uh, I mean, if he had, if Gotember does not find a way to immediately take care of the moth, he can get the pot. He can get a pot. And there is the Serp.
It's in the sky. Murphy, tooth in the booth going brr. What's up, Murphy? Appreciate you. Rodian says, Joe, dude, your streams are always really cool. Keep up the good work and always believe in your dreams. Always. Always believe. Never give up. Shout out, Rodion. Like the ding dong stream. Share the ding dang stream. Pitch your upstart and your serps for charity. Subscribe. As we set. Timber. Go Tim Bear. Got him bear. It's got him bear. <laughs> I thought it was like October kind of thing. We're going to put this sword in tech position. And we're just going to ram. You know this is mob, so you don't have a knock or discard traps, or you just decided to not use them. There's the moth. Moth, grab him back. Pot? Pot over the graceful? Okay. But the spirit reaper is going to pop in here. Do you take it? Popping in to give the props. Like the video, guys. Otherwise, the panda burn players deal more damage. <laughs> Shout out, Mystic V. Oh, missing the poppy. You get the tribe. Can f I guess it all depends on this pot resolving. If he can get this pot, I wonder if you can stabilize your position here. Grab the serp. There you go. Yup, yup. Grab the serp. There you go. Going to main phase. This could very well just be like <laughs> what's what's funny about ranked ladder, right? This is the big thing about ranked ladder. These two people could very well just be alts of players that we know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This could just be two players that we have seen on stream multiple times on like alts or something. <laughs> and they're just chilling and vibing. And we're just here. <laughs> and we're here. Just watching them. With no idea. It's going to be a ring for the breaker. God, I'm said One, two, three, one, four, five, six, two. Uh, assumingly, that's like, hey, hurry up. Play at a reasonable pace. And Phil said, think there's going to be a pot. He has Solemn. Solemn would be good here. No. I am both of these players. <laughs> I'm both of these players. Versing myself on Smurfs. That would be insane. <laughs> that would be insane. I'm just going to play myself. Going on my music. There we go. Yes. There's a minecon banishing this orc. That one pass. This Reaper has been getting consistently active. Opting to not set the the Serp here. I guess it makes sense. You're gonna you know, let it die to this Reaper or you're gonna risk it getting knocked. So I can definitely see keeping it in hand, especially if you maybe have set a Raigeki break. I only play versus myself these days. Other people are too easy. Dang. We have a heavy. And we have an MST popping this. And there's a jar. There's a TT being sent. Well, that's kind of scary now, because now the Reaper can actually hit something that's real. You know what I'm saying? Like, this could... I feel like, what if you just drew BLS? Now you're kind of sweating bullets. 
I don't know if I agree with using the jog. Oh, one, two, three, one, four, five, six, two is the dire roll for Spirit Reaper. Does it hit the Serp? It's Kaiku. Oh. Not fun. Really feel like you should not have used the jog. It's okay. Drop for turn. Is that one pass? IDK not using it is also just giving it up. But you have the serpent hand. Like, I don't understand this. Oh, yeah, again, this is like, yeah, I'm going to try to hit something real. Like, I think I would have gave it up if it meant the Spirit Reaper is just going to guarantee hit my Serp and then just draw it. Like, it's a little slower, but, you know. Whoa! God, I'm just like, this is real. This is a real set. This ain't no game. This is Serp. And Serp is engraved. This is a real thing. This can't be Serp. Bill said, wait. You can't if you don't have cards in hand. Is that true? Is that is that true? Can a judge hop on here? Or, or tell me? Can it don't hop on the ladder. Don't don't hop on the ladder to help this dude if you're a judge. But is that true, chat? You can if your opponent don't have cards, but not if you don't. Huh. I did not know that's a thing, if that's true. If either player has cards in hand, someone can play card destruction. If neither player has cards in hand, I don't think you can play it. Okay, so it just has to meet the requirements for one player. If at least one player meets the requirements. Okay. I'm going to say, that, that's kind of strange. If it was like you had to have the cards, it yeah, it just has to do something as long as an action can be can happen, right? It's like uh, it's like shallow grave. Well, shallow grave improving requires both players. Yeah, doesn't matter which player it is. Okay, they figured it out at the same time we did. <laughs> cool. 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 Cool, 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 cool. As Sir goes back to hand. Knock the set. In the Serp. Night Assailant flipped up. Pop the Reaper. And you're back in the game? Crazy. And just like that. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. MST pop a ring. Upstart. So now you don't instantly die. There's Deco. Choosing to not set it and instead uh, swing for damage. I wonder why. <laughs> I actually am wondering why. Maybe because he is reading that that's spy. Just doesn't want to... Just wants a body. That kind of makes sense. Or maybe that's Sangan. What's going on here? Oh wait, no, that's the Serp. I'm so dumb, guys. I am so dumb. That's the ser I am so dumb. <laughs> I am stupid. That, that makes it so... Why would... I'm not going to talk about it. Playing around Minecon slash knock. Okay, but... Okay. 
That's fair. I mean, you did see Minecon knock earlier. That's so funny. I was just so I felt so clueless in that moment right there. <laughs> that was a moment of weakness. But now Phil got two spies out. Like okay. <laughs> I can't look at this username and think it's Philip DeFranco. It's it, I don't know why. <laughs> The Friday event's going to start in five minutes. I might switch over to that. If you're looking to play in a free event, the Friday is starting in five minutes. Submit a list and play. Okay, the Deco hits the Serp. Draws per turn. Grab him back, Serp. Grab him back, Syrup. Zoggler! What's up, Zoggler? Representing Team N -N Nemesis. What's up? We saw you play earlier. That Cyber Jar was crazy, to say the least. This is winners' finals or losers? It's neither. We're on uh, ranked ladder because we are currently waiting. John Wick had a medical emergency this morning. So we played out uh, the top four for Oops versus Marvin. Marvin proceeded forward. I wonder if I can refresh this and it just goes. It doesn't. I'll get an updated bracket in a second. But um, Marvin won his match against Oops. He's moving on to losers finals. And we are just waiting for winners finals to... Commence. Here's the updated bracket. Cool. Yeah, it was a Slifer match. Cyberjar goes nuts when it works. <laughs> if you play Reason Gate in Fridays, I'll kick you. Dog, I won't. Yeah. Zog, you can play whatever. <laughs> Don't let Grumple intimidate you. Don't let Grumple intimidate you, okay? I'm playing a bad deck instead, but it'll be fun. Okay, that's good to hear. Just have fun. You know, Fridays... Fridays whatever you want it to be. I was wondering how two players I've never heard of made almost top four. Yep, we are just waiting. I'm just trying to provide content to the stream so that way people don't uh, die of boredom to the Bluetooth podcast. If I didn't pull up some gameplay going on. Here's a tribe clearing up spies. Okay. That's why on the bottom it says waiting and not like a real thing. You know, like winner's finals or whatever. Let's see here. Got him bare. Checking his grave. He does have a dark and a light. Oh, here it comes. Into a defense position. BLS. BLS going to banish the Serp. The Syrup. And we're going to swing for 3,000 here. It disconnects. Yep. And it all goes through a okay. Pass for turn. Bill drawing a card. Checking around. Checking for dark and light. He does have a dark and a light. He has a lot of them. <laughs> he has a lot of them. Bill is thinking. What is Philly boy thinking? Can he deal with this board? Maybe he has a snatch. Maybe he has a snatch. Maybe he has his own chaos mon. Um, and then it just becomes the 
question of dealing with both the BLS and the tribe. Here we go. Here's a Chaos Maw coming out. It's Sork. I'm going to say if it was BLS, you may have to just like run into it. Oh, we're going to set the tribe with the power of the Tsukiyomi. And we're going to ram into the set tribe. There you go. And now you're looking decent. Players who have the thinking frog <laughs> card as profile picture are strong. It's true. The Friday event started. Oh, it might be time to go over there if I see people hosting and playing. Rumple is gearing up to start. On the Sork. I'm playing with Grace here as well. What do you mean I didn't have to start? This is the time, isn't it? I didn't say that. Did I say that? Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead and start. Yeah, whatever you want to do. I just read that Friday event started. I'll be back later. And then I read your message. Yeah, go ahead. I, I, you're in... I, yeah. No qualms. As we banish the sword... As we banish the deco with the sword. And we are going to back out of this. I hate to leave y'all blue carded, you know, as opposed to blue balls. But I want to see some action going on and then go from that Friday while we wait. And we got Loger. Loger versus Kofox. Shout out to Loger. Shout out to the logs as Loger draws with the upstart. Finding a TD. As we set one. As it becomes a T set. Because another set. And pass. Here comes a knock. Banishing the deco. Fox has no copies in deck as we banish three decos. Three. Count them three. One, two, three. There's an upstart. Draw and gain 1,000. And there's a graceful. It's just all coming down. Pitching Jar and Tsukiyomi. And there's TD. What deck is this? This plays like, it looks like Turbo, but he doesn't have any decos. There's a pot. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of cards. That's a lot of cards as we set. Set. Reload! <laughs> Oh, reloading. Wow. Okay. Shuffle it up and draw your cards. MST on resolution. You just said that you can't. No, 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 no. You just said that. <laughs> Oh my goodness. There's Jar. Okay. 
Might as well do it now that since he knows. It's the TD, so you pitch the other TD, and then you got three lights and grave. Okay. That was a lot of cards coming out, coming out of uh, Co Fox. There, we have pot. And we're going to match your T-set with my T-set. It's a Dust Tornado. What is this deck? Is this Exodia? What is going on? Wow. What is going on? Duo again. Pitching Regeki Break and Ring. What is happening in this game? I'm gonna regeki break pop the set. It's spy. You're telling me after all those cards that Go Fox used, they had the same amount of cards in deck. And they have just about the okay, okay, okay. So Go Fox is gonna be up here. Okay. Grabbing relinquished. There's his own moth. Grabbing pot. What is this deck? Relinquished with reload and stuff? Feet right on the ground. Okay, okay, okay. But Sonic Racing. Alright, okay. Logan's stinking. It's like, what am I playing against here? What is this deck? With the reloads. Go Fox seizes. BLS! <laughs> can't really threaten a TT. Uh, he can't threaten TT, but he's not going to respect it. Looks like as he banished the spy. The Sonic Racing. Okay, okay, okay. Logos thinking. Logos thinking, thinking. Hmm. 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 Logos has to deal with the BLS now. <laughs> Which is so funny. We're going to charity. Okay. So that's two pots in a charity. Logos has to have some good materials at this point. It's got to be something good here. If we get the Serp. Serp and heavy. Okay. End turn. So what is that set? Not ring. It's possibly not. It's probably not TT either. Hmm. There's Breaker. Oh, it was Mirror. Yep. That's a lot of damage coming down. And lower come back to 16. That's kind of scary. We're adding back, sir. I'm just thinking. How do we not have an answer to this BLS? Ogre's thinking what to do here. This That was a lot of damage he didn't think he would have to take at that moment. It's a butt ton of damage. Got dark and light. Kung Punk is on zero back row right now. And Loger, bring it back. Snatch would be quite powerful. Oh, 
We're just going to banish a dark. Oh. Okay. So we're still thinking on this play. He knows the one card in hand is relinquished. Right? I think that is still there. Oh, we have Tribe. Clearing Spellcaster. Pitching the Serp. Hit over the Manju. And then main phase two. We get the Sork to banish the BLS. Okay. Don't hate that one bit. A Sura Priest coming out of the woodworks out of nowhere. Hitting over the tribe for 100 extra damage. Longer adding back to Serp. We're just going to swing with the Sork here. Get some damage going. Try to neutralize the life point differential with attacks and damage of sorts. By accumulating damage, <laughs> you can win the game. <laughs> and there it is. Going to game two. Oh, Fox gets the dub. Pretty intense. Pretty intense match there. You'd think that Loger was... was able to... get like a clap back of sorts. But it did not seem to secure it fully. Yes, we're not going to siding here. Go format Friday! Uh, let me see if there's any updates on the obelisk as we wait here. Uh, last update from John Wick was before Friday started, calling my Uber now, so not much longer. So I think he's on the way home now. I am uh, pretty sure. Which is good. Which is good. Thank goodness he is okay. As we pitch TD, and we get TDs in return, you know, we call this a plus one. As we set, 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 pass. Standby phase, get an okay from Loger. That's a nice standby phase. Now what could Fox be brewing here? We get MST, hits a jar. We're going to upstart. Logger gains a thousand life points in return for Fox drawing a card. Some would say that's that's a even trade. I don't know how true that is. As is Manju is going to search out for Black Illusion Ritual. Does that mean he already has the monster in hand? And there's Sangan adding Serp. Going to set one, set two, and pass. Okay. Okay. Logar's thinking his head. Okay. Fair enough. We're going to set one. And set another and pass. Just trying to match up on the board. Stay here. There's a dust tornado hitting the dust chute. And we continue on. Minecon the set. A little risky, you know, Serp's around here, but you do get rewarded with a Spy. No effect, it seems. Um, came for 14, and you hand it on over. So put the Spy in defense position. That one, pass. Fox is thinking. What do you do now? There it is. So he did have 
the relinquish already in hand. We're going to grab ourselves the spy. Oh, the set. The set is brewing. What could it be? Is it the Serp? It's quite interesting. You in the graveyard, you do have a dark and a light. Stone Fox only has the light. As we said in pass. in main phase one what is on his mind look into the mind of a co-fox or a koei fox however you say that name look into the mind as we pass loger just i got i don't want to do nothing i ain't got nothing for you TT. Pretty good TT. Adding back the Serp. Logar is up many cards <laughs> off that TT. And end phase, we have to pitch the Serp for hand size. Alright, Geki break the back row. Another Geki break. Down and out. There's a knock. Hitting Night Assailant. And there's a Serapriest. Serapriest is going to punch in for 1700 damage. He set pass. Is there a priest going to hit? For Serp. Fox is trying to be a uh, low commitment here with the Asura Priest, so we're going to see. If these draws he's accumulating from the Azura Priest is going to be helpful or not versus Logar's big ol' hand. His big ol' big hand. His massive hand. There's the heavy. Pro said heavy. There's the warrior lady. It's the Serp. And we're going to banish it with the warrior lady. Trying to deny him that uh, resource. Comes a breaker. We're just going to just get in there. Yeah. No need to pop nothing. It's 19. You don't have to worry about snatch. Um, which is nice. There's TDs coming down. It's thinning out the deck it looks like. Banishing a light in the dark. Uh oh. It's sorked. Okay. There's the Asura Priest. We're just going to swing for damage here. Oh, you banished two dark. He did. I didn't even see that he did that. Yeah, you got to banish a dark and a light for these chaos monsters to resolve. It, it's not. Uh, it's not Higantes or uh, Soul of Purity and Light. What a graceful. Get some use out of the uh, TDs in hand. Let's see if Loger 
can do a big play. This is a good chance to have a big break going on here. Um, you know, you got, you got a bunch of cards in hand, a ton of resources, and these are all real cards. Because, I mean, there's no TDs, there's no Night Assailants, there's no Serps. It's, these are all real cards. This is 100% all real stuff here. If we're going to set, set, pass. The wing was Sork into Moth. I'm going to grab back the Graceful. I think Logger is just preparing to do a huge turn here. I'm going to knock. Hitting the set of Sura Priest. And there's Graceful. Pitching heavy. And... Pitching the heavy. And the deck go. We're going to snatch. We have OTK right here. Let's see a orc. Okay, Kaiku also works. Oh my goodness. No Chaos Mons. I mean, this does make sense. All the... Yeah, you know, the Breaker, the MST, and the Heavy are gone. He does have a Destiny and Grave too, so... It's looking grim for this Fox, fella. And he admits defeat going to Game 3. This Relinquish deck is... Playing a bunch of stuff. Playing a whole smorgasbord of things. Luger decided that he's done sighting. Fox still sighting. Here we go, baby. Fox going first. Fox going first, baby. Who's going to win it, baby? We got upstart. Is that one pass? Is it shoot? Okay, we got Thunder Dragons coming through the mix here. More Thunder Dragons aplenty. We got Pot. Some good resources coming out the woodworks here. Pot TD from Logar. Upstart from Fox. Now Fox does have some does have some trap card diversity you saw before with the dust tornadoes and all that. Let's see here. Logar gives the okay. We got heavy. Just a pro set heavy. Again, the jar. There's a mine con. Oh my goodness. Whole bunch of tools. Deco, draw one mate. Oh, not the worst, not the, uh, you know, preferably you didn't want that mine con, but if there's any flips in the Chaos Turbo strategy that you would want mine con, it would probably be the Deco. You know, it's not the end of the world per se. As we upstart, draw one. Let's 
Swing for 14 with the Deco. As we set some more. I love these sleeves, by the way. These, uh... What's it called? The aluminum necklace? <laughs> the aluminum necklace <laughs> from the show. <laughs> from the cartoon. <laughs> we got Moth coming in here. Go to grab pot. Ogre's thinking. My greed is good to go. I'm gonna swing Deco Moth going in Mirror Force. Mirror Force sliding through as we continue to set more cards. Sura Priest hitting the set spy. That's the worst case scenario for your Sura Priest. You can't do that in the battle phase. Or you can't do that at the at this moment. Yeah, you can't TT during damage step, correct. Yeah, you can't do that during damage step. Is Grumple in this obelisk? He was, Nick. He was in this obelisk, as you can see here. He was, but he lost to... Uh, Gia? And then the oops. And that concluded his run. I didn't lose. It was rigged. It was rigged. <laughs> well, Night Assailant is great here. Get back your moth, too. Sometimes the chips are always stacked against you, Grumple. I know that feeling. Who wants some breaker? Breaker effect to hit the ring. Ring hitting the breaker. 1600 damage. 1600 damage. Thunder Dragon. Shuffle. Oh. We got one. If Goat was fair, I would win every tourney. <laughs> we got two. Buckle my shoe. Knock for me. Life is green. And get GG's. Loger wins the match. Let me double check here on any updates involving John Wick and Gia. No updates as of now. I know everybody's really excited for this match. Thank you all for your patience. It should be. Hopefully starting soon. Um, I've already talked about this before, but, you know, John Wick had a medical emergency this morning and had to go to the hospital, and he's... Uh, and if we're going by the timeline, he should be on his way back. Life is green! <laughs> what are you on? No, it, you know, life is green. Like a green light, you know? <laughs> But yeah, thank you all for, for sticking around and being patient. I know that this isn't exactly what was advertised, but it, you know, it was a last second issue that came up. So thank you all. Let's see here. Who who's playing right here? Who's let me pull up the bracket. The go from at Friday bracket. Let's see who's playing. Um Grayson Zogler is still at it. We got D 
Demock and Madcap. Let me pull some of these players while we wait. Um, right here. So we're in game two. I love Madcaps doing the picture so much. It's so freaking cute. Madcap, a burn aficionado. Playing Mask of Restrict. Holy smokes. That's in the sideboard. That Mask of Restrict. Last time I saw Mask of Restrict, it was like 2016. <laughs> uh, when they had the Domain Monarchs in, in advanced format. Still waiting on Oslisk. Yes, we are return winner. We are waiting. Um, it shouldn't be too much longer. We got a fake trap from the Madcap. Shouldn't be too much longer. Again, I apologize. Um, it came up. I, I was notified about what was going on pretty much immediately after I started. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know what? It's fine. As long as John Wick is healthy. This is very bad for Madcap. That's a super tricky position. End phase. This still comes back to hand. Let's see if Madcap can counteract what just happened. Because that was a lot... We have an area B. Okay. Level limit area B gets activated. A second area B. Not worried about heavy? Maybe just more worried about a breaker than the heavy. Uh, we're going to banish another token. Upstart coming out the woodwork here for Demok or Final Zero on DB. There's the Tsukiyomi. Solemn Judgment on the Sork. I love me some Solemn in these uh, type of burn decks. This could be uh, like the Nano's cat list from few PWCQs ago. I'm a big fan of that deck. Um, there's BLS using the effect to banish another token. I wonder why there's a mask of restrict in this deck. I mean, yeah, I mean, Turbo can tribute summon for like a TD, but hmm, very strange. Very, very strange. We're going to jar here at the end phase. Probably predicting Mobius. Oh, uh, that's fair. That's that's actually kind of fair. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe he just reads that this player does that. It's against Walk. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I didn't even think about walk. <laughs> also works against Mobius. Trying to lock opponent with collapse. Mobius can't solve that. Yeah, walk does tribute. Yeah. Walk procs the uh, last will. We got the zing. This is bizarre that this is a three-turn clock. Madcap needs to get like a... A Mon. Walkcat when? Walkcat is... Uh, Earthcat. Game two and three against <laughs> Burn. <laughs> That's Walkcat. 
<laughs> True Nade, it's over. True Nade in this deck is crazy. They shared smiles. Not GG's. Well, Madcap said GG, but they shared smiles. That's interesting. Let's go take a look. For more! I need more. Oh, Wick is five minutes from his house. So hopefully starting in ten or less. Five minutes, everybody. Wildcat is not that dumb. Summon Goblin, walk the Goblin last will. And paying twice for Stein. Exactly. Exactly. So, with five minutes left, good luck to these duels. 15 players for Go For My Friday. That's pretty good. That's a good chunk of people. Um, good luck to these duelists. I, we actually had some really good players come in here. We got Oops, Demok, Madcap, I think is great. Ogre's great. Um, I think I've seen Go Fox around. I don't think he's played... He plays too often. Got Psychotic, representing Damage Step. Um, much love to Psychotic. Angel, uh, a Bulgarian. One of, the, one of the best Bulgarian players you could ask for. You know, shout out to Not So Fast. Shout out to Angel. Got Dueling High, you know. Multiple wins under his belt. Multiple big wins under his belt. Got End User, been playing the game for a long time. Shout out. Grace Zogler, you guys know them. You saw them earlier. Leo P, pushing P, HMVB, and you got return winner. Shout out and your pal, your best pal, Chris. So shout out to these players. Good luck. I think we're actually going to be starting soon, which is exciting. Getting back into the bracket. I need TP. Get in the lab. I need to get in the lab. Could you imagine? Double Stein. That's how you do it. I got a message. I don't want to open up the messages. I'm worried. I'm worried. Oh, wow. is going to resume in a couple minutes. Thank you, Fox. Thank you for the update, Fox. Yep. Starting in a few minutes. I'm just going to sit right here. Get comfortable. Check the obelisk chat room and make sure that we're on time for the match that all, everybody here has been waiting for. You know what I'm saying? While we do that, I'm going to also put in winners final here. Go. Get the center and there you have it. See, being a streamer is so easy, you guys. You just, you know, you just gotta just uh, know your OBS. You gotta learn your OBS. John Wick loading up my computer now. Let's go. Who's excited? Who's excited? We're actually we're about to continue this. We're about to continue here. Who's excited? He is hosting. What's up, Bobby? Saving the workday again. I love streaming on Fridays, man. Streaming on Fridays is a bunch of fun. It's gonna tell me a cyber dragon is not allowed to go for that. That's so funny. Hey, if you're playing Car Curry, shout out. <laughs> Wick is making sure Obelisk is evil country. Evil country. <laughs> he is hosting. John Wick is still booting up the computer. <laughs> he 
y'all gotta get those ssds that makes your get off the the old mechanical drives get yourself an ssd or an nvme drive and get those five second boot up times i think it would be our third obelisk win this season did rixa win one did rixa win obelisk SSDs. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank goodness. John Wick's hand is better. Oh my god. John Wick's on Mac. See it. We got gear. We got wick. Hopefully in a couple minutes. <laughs> or less. Come on. I'm just, I'm so excited for the match to start. I'm just so excited. I'm like, let's get it. Let's get the action going now. <laughs> Evil wants it. Ultra Instinct wants it. They need to get at it. Oh, this music's perfect for this. Gear, patient as ever. Ready. Ready for war. Both these duelists. Ready for battle. Ready to spill blood. Hungry for violence. Do you have the bracket? I do, Bobby. Uh, this is the bracket. Um, Marvin. Defeated Oops a Cow earlier in the stream, bringing him to <laughs> uh, bringing him to losers finals, and we are awaiting winners finals between John Wick and Gia. Um, John Wick's bracket was Apo 101, and Marvin, uh, which is what sent him to losers, and then Gia's was against uh, Six Lack or Black. Um, known known to be a very good turbo player of Team Solitaire and going on to face Grumple Grumple you know top 16 worlds you know no slouch great player but Kia moves on oh they started they have started here we go. <laughs> Top 12, get your facts straight. Let's see here. Are they waiting for me to, to say you can begin? You may begin. I'm just going to just type that. <laughs> Okay. Who's ready? Winner's finals. My fault. I didn't mean to delay it. I, I meant to just pull up the bracket. <laughs> and I wanted to talk it through. My apologies, Fox. Last thing I want to do is, is uh, slow it down.
see here. Who's going first? Who's going second? Gia starting it off. Going first. One die roll. Going first. Let's see what Gia's play is. Was our gumball did get top 12. I think it was like ninth place or something like that. He is analyzing the hand. Either that's the case, or I'm lagging. I hope that's not. I hope that's not a me thing. Okay. Oh, I think it was. I think John Wick had to do something. Okay, 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 okay. I think John Wick had to do something. Okay. Duo. Off the rip. Hitting graceful. Ooh. Gotta love hitting those Trinity pieces, but you hate it when it's your Trinity piece that's getting hit by this duo. It's always the worst. Now, John Wick's thinking about his second target here. Pitching the moth. And there's a Kaiku summon. And we are setting two. Some protection. And passing. So Wink draws per turn. Holding priority. Passing priority. Looks to be no shoots. We're going to set two. And then we're going to set a Mon here to accompany that. And we do. Pitching TD. Let's get yourself two more TDs, you know. De decked in a little bit. A little treat for you. Exile Force. Just gonna rip that set. John Wick is thinking here. Using the effect to pop, spy, and then we're gonna swing with Kaiku. Using our Geki Break, pitching a TD, and sending Kaiku to the murky graveyard. <laughs> Off for turn. John Wick's got a, a bit of an uphill battle here. Trying to deal with that brutal duo. That completely brutal duo. As we normal summon Kaiku. Second Kaiku of the game. John Wick's thinking on the summon. Gonna TT the board. It's gonna wipe out the Kaiku here. DB is lagging for John Wick. Gia passes. Setting one, passing it over, and there's a warrior lady. Okay. 
Let's try to push some damage in. Jungle gives the okay. Does he let it go through for 1500? And he does. Gia passes. He's trying to siphon out the mods. Siphon out the damage and get the get the pressure rolling. Let's get the pressure a go-go. John look at three cards in hand. His dark and lights are alive, and he did deal with the Kaikus before, so. He could do like a Sork Banish if you wanted to. It looks like nothing going on there. Just gonna set one pass. Here comes Gia, and here comes Ultra Instinct screaming, Ultra! Ultra! As we're gonna slam the lady into the set here, what is it? It's going to be Spy, so that means all of Wick's Spies are out of the deck, because there's one in Grave. A formidable wall. <laughs> A formidable wall of sorts. As the Spy sits, and we're going to Sout 1 for Gia. I'm not too familiar with Gia's list, but you know, some Warriors, they play, you know, some like two Spies and a Moth sometimes, or maybe just a Moth. You know, um, kind of diversifying their monster lineup. And just so they can grab good cards, you know. If this is a moth, you can grab back Duo. <laughs> Which is good, considering that John Wick only has one TD in hand. and doesn't seem to really be showing signs of, like, a real set. A real uh, hand protection. That makes sense. You know, like a Knight Assailant or a Serpent, aside from the TD. It is the moth that's getting banished off the knock here. John Wick losing uh, his second copy of Moth from deck. Or is it just... Okay. No copies in deck. So that could give some info. Okay. <laughs> that gives some info on what's going on here. We're going to pre-mat targeting exiled. Using exiled's effect. Hitting the other moth. Yep, there you go. And here's a tribe. Pitching heavy. And popping some casters. We're going to swing for 31. Very significant clock. Another Mon just gets you the lethal if you can answer Wick's turn here. What can Wick be doing here? Maybe he has a Chaos Mon. Uh, one known card is the, the third TD as we are going to banish a light in a dark using the power of chaos. He brings out the sorcerer. Sorcerer is kind of awkward uh, because both of these cards answer Sork next turn, but it does save you from death. So we're opting for banishing the tribe. And we're going to ring the Sork here. Last known card in hand for John Wick is the TD. And gotta have an answer for his warrior lady or its curtains. And he doesn't. Going to game two, Gia up one. Winners finals. Yeah, that sword was just super awkward. And then he just holding uh, he just holding the, the good sets you know he's had the good sets the whole game and we couldn't really handle that too well ultra instinct
Siding. What is John Wick planning for the side? I think John Wick, if I remember correctly, he has a pretty comprehensive uh, warrior sideboard plan. But we'll see. We will see. I know uh, the warrior brewers at Ultra Instinct, you know, they always got uh, something up their sleeves over there. Whether it be seven tools or... You know, if you're a Chaos Turbo player, a, a sunlight of sorts. Is John Wick goes first here? I'm going to upstart, draw one, gain one. Set two. Pass it over to you. Yes, we have lots of sleeves. <laughs> I just imagine you're like Gambit <laughs> from X Men. <laughs> John Wick, uh, Gius is calling out John Wick right here, saying, "Do you have the answer to my dawn right now?" Yes, TT. John Wick playing the TT fast and loose, just trying to get any trade he can from it, which makes sense. I mean, you'd rather do it while the Warrior player doesn't have many sets because then you can uh, be safer on it not getting solemn. So that makes sense to me. You really wish you could get uh, some more uh, value from it, but beggars can't be choosers, you know. We're going to set one pass from John Wick. And does Gia have a Blade Knight? She does. And we're going to set a bunch and attack a bunch with the Blade Knight. It's Spy. Spy walling out the Blade Knight here. Draws for turn. Wonder what Wick's hand is looking like. He hasn't really shown too much info on what's going on up there, but we will see. Hashtag spy kills goat. <laughs> I don't know. Spy is it, Spy is a potent and powerful card. You know, it's a great defensive option, and it's good on um, for aggro pushes. I mean, you, a flip summon with this guy, and you're swinging for twenty four. We have Rhoda. I'm going to grab a Sasuke to, to pick away at these pesky spies. Why play Spy when you could play Spice? You could play Spy and Spice. You know? Oh, I need to change uh, my picture. Back to... Ta-da! Are you waiting for Wick to get the okay here? Okay. So B gets to draw three, discard two. No need to feel blue. Pitching another Blade Knight and pitching Snatch. There's Sasuke for you. 
The TT's gone, so you don't have to worry too much about that. And then... The spy is gone! The spy is gone! There was one more left, but, you know. There's TDs coming through in the pipeline. Out of the Sork! Hold on now. <laughs> Hold on! <laughs> Hold on! <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Wait. Did he send it back? Uh, Shaggy. Yeah, Guy is asking too. Did you put back sword there? To okay. Shaggy says, "Let's go, Queen G. Queen Gia. Ultra Instinct coming out. Supporting." Uh, in support of Gia. <laughs> well, I think the chat's coming. I think, I think chat's is catching up. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I've, I've, Gia noticed that too. <laughs> 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 uh. You know, I, I, it's, I, 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 I understand. John Wick just came out of the, out of a, an issue, an emergency, so maybe it's just a, a misclick and all that. You know, that's <laughs> so funny though. And we're clearing the Warriors attacking for 16. Don't worry. Uh, anyway, Fox is on the. Fox is also in the match too. He's He's making sure that uh everything is fair and that there's any that he's around for uh any rulings or anything like that shout out to fox ledge one fox or legend ledge one legend fox however you say his name shout out to fox man great guy we're gonna graceful the breaker is sitting there chilling ready to, to be activated when necessary you always around for UI. It's true. It's funny when <laughs> when the Ultra Instinct account came in. I thought that was Shaggy for a second, and I didn't remember. <laughs> I had to remember. <laughs> it's, oh, that's so funny. Are you playing tomorrow, or have you hung up the goat boots? Jackie's just enjoying his life, man. Okay, nice. Salem goes to Graves. So he can get back the spy. John Wick is saying game three. Does he just have straight up just super game or something? How are we hitting for 74 here? Snatch. PLS. And something, uh, I guess, ring. Oh, Wick disconnected. Uh, Wick has left the duel waiting for John Wick. Okay, he's back. There's the BLS. There's Sook. Oh, okay. That's a, yeah, that's a butt ton of damage. Going to game three. Gia versus Wick. I work tomorrow, but don't care to play online anymore, really. That's fair. See, it's like the inverse for me. I can only really play online. Like, unless I'm going to YCS Vegas, which I'm not doing. <laughs> However... You know, GGP Seattle 
is coming this this summer. We secured a venue, and we're just working on. <laughs> it's a potential sack there. That was exact lethal, I think. And yeah, we're just finalizing which weekend of that month. I think we narrowed it down to to two weekends. Why can't you play IRL anymore? Didn't you have locals with JDZ? Our locals shut down. Our locals is no more. They just they just closed up shop uh, a couple months ago. Like uh, there's an Edison format local, uh, like 40 minutes away from me, but I don't really want to play Edison. I'm not a big Ed head. Now if it was Tangu, if it was Tangu, I would. As Gia goes first, setting two. As Betchy Hezu says, let's go Team Evil. Gia flips up the dust shoot. Back, it's Ridge Racer. I think this is the first shoot to resolve. Will there be a GGP Philly this year? I think. Um. I think they're just finalizing with the venue first. Last I heard, I think Insidious was talking about that. Ah, ooh. <laughs> Sending back. Oh, please, Gia, tell us the hand. Please, 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 please. Spy, Sork, Upstart, Snatch, Knock. Pretty good hand for Wick. Pretty dang good hand here. This upstart is going to get him one card from the deck. And Gia gets to gain 1,000 life points to her total. <laughs> I'm like thinking. Thinking. Set one, set two, set three. Hmm. You got the knock for you. Knock for your troubles. When there's a knock, you don't got to worry about spy lock, you know? No spy, kids. Spy? Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Gia on zero spies. What's Gia's next plan here? What's Gia's big move? Gia Bueller's day off. <laughs> oh, I'm so dumb. <laughs> here comes Don. <laughs> this is not Grands. This is Winners. This is just Winners Finals. And then we're going to go to Losers Finals, Zogler. And then it'll be Grands. Um, we're thinking on the attack here. Bueller. I can't get it out of my head now. Bueller. Gia Bueller. Mirror Force. Seven tools. Ultra Instinct. Why did Wick only lose a thousand? Gotta just he takes four hundred more here. There we go. Wait. Okay, now you have to gain a thousand. No, this is not Grand's Ultra Instinct. This is winner. This is winner's finals, not Grand Finals. Um, loser of this goes to face Marvin, and then we will do 
Grand Finals. The tools. She got me with that on Worlds. And I was on return. <laughs> I think I did see that replay, Zogma. That's unfortunate. When the tools. Seven of them. Count them on that picture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one of them, one of the tools is a bunch of keys. <laughs> Matt thinks he's playing his own tools. <laughs> 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 Come Sasuke. And then 14. Knock set, Thunder Dragon, Sork in hand. Happy life. Yeah, the snatch is going out is not good. It is very, very not good in this position. If you're John Wick. I'm assuming that if you're Gia, you're happy as a clam. In this position, you're you're a, a happy you're as happy as a clam. She is smiling ear to ear. Like yes, yes. <laughs> he is thinking what is the move we got blade knight just for you I'm gonna hit hit with dawn first okay night assailant so where are we popping then this does get super awkward here uh, you, you need to not die. So yeah, hit the Sasuke. Play knight for 16. Yeah, that knight assailant was not saving you too much there. But there's, there's still, I mean... And now your Sork's active, your Sork is live. Which is good if you're Wick, but you gotta do something to protect it too, because Gia's just been accumulating cards. It's just been... It's been so accumulating... There's a Zombira! Gia in Brown Town? Possibly, yeah. He hasn't been setting too much post-7 tools. Some buyer coming in. And there's Sork to banish the Dawn. That's kind of unfortunate for Gia because that's her dark. So I'm thinking the play here is going to be Snatch and Sort and Soul of Purity and Light. I think that's the play. <laughs> Oh. He is on that solo purity and light. It's over. Oh, okay. We got tribe, pitch, moth, pop, sork, pitch, heavy, pop, target warrior, swing for 16. Tooth, I need, I think I need help with something. I removed someone from Fridays, but the bracket didn't update. Um,. Uh, are they playing? Like, is somebody paired with them? If somebody's not paired with them, it'll it'll auto update when somebody gets paired with them. Freed going to wander in bravely. Do I just give a manual loss instead? Um. Give me a second after this match is over, and I'll take a look at it, Crumple. But if it, if they're not paired with somebody, they are paired. Um, and the bot removed, didn't remove it. Take a look. Uh, 
Try doing the just try doing the remove command again. Uh yeah, okay, Jay Z's got you. Okay. I'm sorry I missed it here. Kaiku hitting moth. Grabbing snatch. That's not good. This is crusty. Yeah. That another. Hmm. Oh, we got breaker. We got breaker for your troubles. Popping the snatch. Kaiku and Breaker coming in. Two spellcasters having a bunch of fun. And that concludes the match. Extra large Breaker. I'll see you in finals. GG's from Gia. John Wick looking at his draws. Gia moves on to grand finals from Winter's Side. John Wick saying, wow. <laughs> Let's go, UI baby, says Ultra Instinct. That, that I say. You, now, it, I don't think you can say you got sacked when the seven tools was getting active. Had Breaker when he used Regeki Break, was just too scared to play into it. Fair. Fair enough. Holding that breaker worked out. So Gia moves on to grand freaking finals. Grand freaking finals. What just happened? Give me that. Um. <laughs> yeah, did we see that game too? Talking. <laughs> I didn't watch the match. I have to watch the Friday stuff. Must have been sad. <laughs> <laughs> so game's on the green freaking finals as john wick goes on to face marvin in losers finals the ui squad the ui shadow government very pleased to see the uh move on and get that win as well as see the utility of the, of the tools the tools are they they started they went quick oh yeah they just started they just went right in okay we got marvin we got wick nemesis versus evil zoggler nemesis member not so fast playing edits Exposed. <laughs> As Marvin pulls out a Blade Knight. For those that don't remember, uh, in the first match we saw, Marvin was on double. Count them, double Abyss soldiers. So this will be interesting to see. To see what Marvin opened here outside of just a blade knight. He's playing some items. Some items. John with pitching the TD. Adding two TDs. <laughs> this song. Sure, it's 47 seconds. Sure. <laughs> And we got two TDs in hand. Set, set, pass. Let's see here. What is Marvin cooking? J 
JDZ coming in saying, Gia, 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 Gia! JDZ. Happy to see that Gia grab that win as the Exile Force slams on the spy with his powerful effect. Everyone deal 16. Abyss Soldiers are good. I have played in Warriors for a couple months a while back. You know me, Zogler. You know me. I'm an Abyss Believer. I'm an Abyss Soldier Believer. Katie's saying she's starting to believe in the tools. Marvin is lagging. He's saying, sorry, he says. John Wick's saying, okay, okay, me too. It's fine. <laughs> all right all right all right let's see what's going on here marvin what are you doing it's all good now and turn <laughs> greek net moment Reese gotta update their Wi-Fi, their Wi-Fi router. <laughs> John Wick, checking the Haynes, typing something. Shit is lagging bad. Excuse my French, but I had to mimic what Wick was saying. The tribe coming down. No negate. Hitch night assailant. Grab back a spy. Pop the blade night, and then you're going in. Hello, purple players in top four. So for top four, we had. Um, Oops a Cow and Marvin and Losers. And then at winners was John Wick and Gia. Gia won versus John Wick and uh, Marvin won versus Oops. So Losers Final. Oh, this is, I need to change that. I uh, My fault, everybody. Losers Final is now uh, between Marvin and Wick versus uh, to take on Gia. Uh, in grands. Sorry about that. <laughs> Do we'll hit the two TDs as we set one. Hitting the Serp. If Marvin can find a Abyss Soldier, this Serp is going to pop off. Gotcha. Good luck to the players. Thank you, Purple. Shout out, Purple. It's so funny. When I say that, I always I always salute. I, <laughs> I feel like, salute. <laughs> it's like nobody. Like a psycho. What's going on, everyone? How we doing today? What's up, Kyle Lopez? How you doing, buddy? We're good. We're in Losers Finals. Winner of this takes on Gia in Grands. John Wick. Using Sangan's special ability to search for a monster here. With 1,500 or less attack points. Grabbing the Serpent. By the way, if you are on... Team Nemesis, Team Evil, um, or uh, Ultra Instinct, Shadow Government, or since Purple's here, if you're on Four Hundreds, like <laughs> like the stream and share the video and share it. <laughs> you're, you're on those teams. <laughs> you forgot SJC champion. If you're SJC champion, Kyle Lopez. I, rec I recommend also liking and sharing. <laughs> and subscribing. 
I'm pretty sure SAC champion Kyle Lopez is subscribed, though. <laughs> Tribe. Hitting spy? On end of battle phase, we got Regeki Break. Hop in the snatch. Ooh. Smart, smart. Protect your mons. And you get back your tribe. I like it. I always like the moment I hop on, says Zogla. Wait, there's old tribe. Tribe on tribe. Now, this serpent is <laughs> getting action in the warrior deck. That's so funny. That's so cool. The serpent getting active. Got an MST. MST pop the solemn. Okay. I'd be kind of peeing my pants if I was Marvin right now. That's this is uh not fun to be in in a position like this. But we'll see. It depends on um what else Wick has cooking up here. We got Sork. And it's going to be matched with a TT. Dawson, man. Freedy, what's up? T set to T set action. Marvin forgot spy. Little early at that TT. I think maybe he needed. Maybe he should have waited for like another summon. I mean, you do have the the serp to basically just trigger it whenever with your own TT. Marvin still not bringing the serp to hand. I feel like it's intentional at this point. But I don't see why he wouldn't in this position. Not going for game. Get that maximum value. I agree, SJC champ and Kyle Lopez. We got Rhoda. We're getting a level two? Yeah, level two. Level two coming at you. What gives the okay? Hitting Moth. Okay. Okay. Marvin's own mop. Uh oh, what are we targeting here? Targeting the duo. Get 
give me that card. Okay. Hey, and the other moth. Pot? Okay. Okay. We have pot in, a in action right here. John Wick getting some valuable cards. Most likely drawing something good. I mean, the TDs are out of here. Sandgan's already on the deck. Asukiyomi! Going to attack faith. Yeah, attack faith with the Tsukiyomi. John Wick is not having a fun day with computers. His computer is not giving him the tools he needs. Kyle Lopez says the exchange was your TT plus tribe for their cs and tribe even exchange and all you're taking was 1600 you could bring back your sinister serpent and summon and destroy all those plus the face sound that was said after that would be a 1.5 for three much better exchange especially if you have prima or call follow-up see this is why you're the sjc champ <laughs> but no i do i do agree with with uh Mr. Lopez. In that conclusion. But since this back row isn't really doing a whole lot. And if you know Wick as a player, he doesn't I don't think he plays any Solemns, like at all. You know. So the, the idea of like Summon Serpent TT getting Solemn is kinda low if you if you think of it as like a meta game you know, just based on player knowledge. As so we set one for John Wick, set another for Marvin. Set another for John Wick. We got Breaker TT. Hitting Breaker Serp in level two, and you only lose your Serp. All right. John Wick coming up. John Wick is up one in cards right now. Marvin got to find some abyss action. Something to keep in mind too is that Marvin actually has two second place finishes in Obelisk. Can you believe that? Two second place finishes in Obelisk. He really, he really needs to, to scrounge up a W for all of his attempts here. We gotta get it in. Flipping up duo. 
hitting the BLS. And you had it too. You had the values. Dang. It's that one pass. You had the materials. Going back, sir. Heavy. Jog. John, I've got to go for a jog in his deck a little bit. There you go. In the mirror force. Here comes a Kaiku. Attack into Serp. Pass. Hmm. Look with the Sukiomi. Knock. Blast for 11. 11 on a very low life count. Rota or uh, Donnie? Big Bad Don? No, it's Lady. John Wick calling game two. These absolute victory. There's Ray. Going to game two, John Wick up one against Marvin. John Wick played, played the hand he had, saying GG Papa. GG Papa. Rip sharing GG's going on to game two. That duo kills me indeed. <laughs> you didn't shuffle hand. Oh. Didn't shuffle hand. I'm not sure about that, but okay. Hung out. He got the tongue out. He got the tongue out. He hit John Wick with the... Mm. <laughs> For three turns, I meant. I don't see Marvin getting through this without some sack. John Wick just so technical. Not getting back Sinister Serpent is just not going to win you games. John Wick is is very, very good. I think the one time I was able to I think I lost to him. So funny story about me and John Wick is he was my first ever opponent in a GOAT format game. <laughs> like ever. And he whooped me. He whooped me. And then after that was funnily enough, Purple Drunk who also just whooped me. Uh, so he most, like, he's won a lot of, of matches against me. And I think I won once against him, like, ever. And it was pretty sack. John Wick is just, uh, you know. Been playing the game forever. He knows what your sets are without even needing uh, anything really to like a shooter or nothing. He doesn't really need the info. He just you can just tell by how you play what you got. 
excellent at making those reads. Pot of greed. Hot book beer jar TT. Did a mon come up? No, no mon. Sasuke. Eighteen hundred. We got upstart. Gain one thousand. I get to draw one. That's the rules. John Wick thinking. Thinking about this jar. Thunder Dragon. Okay. We got heavy. We got Regeki break. Use them or lose them, you know? Marvin, checking graves. Luke may not have a dark and light setup, but got a full hand of stuff. I think the only known is TD. We're going to Rota for a big daddy Dawn. Papa Dawn in the building. Going for 14. I'm in the mirror force. Dang, what a snipe. Brutal. Marvin sets the hand, except for one, and passes. Yeah, it's got to be the dawn. Rough. Shoot. Wick got, a, got his back against the wall a little bit here. Let's see if he can answer this Dawn. That's going to be tricky. Especially if you know he didn't really have him on after the pot. We're going to heavy. There's Solemn. Dang. TD Book. Dust Tornado. The set is MST. So we still have a book afoot. Graceful. Sending Destinado Tribe. There's Blade Knight. Marvin must be stressed again. Not shuffling hand for getting Serp. Yeah, I, I imagine that there's some nervous Nellies going on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I'm imagining there's some nerv nervous Nellies. You know? But he's in a great position now. Oh my goodness, he sniped the Sork. 
Marvin's in a great position. It's going to be very difficult for to kind of bring this back here unless he top takes something really good. Snatch! Snatch off the top is insane. <laughs> Snatch off the top is insane. Target Blade Knight. Oh, man. Yeah, you have the book, but it's like... Doesn't really, yeah. Game three. Marvin. John Wick. Who's coming out? Who's winning? Marvin had all the tools he needed. This has been shaping to be a good game. Marvin, finish sighting. And what is John Wick thinking about here? The sideboard thinking. All right. Marvin is going second. John Wick going first. Let's see the card slam, baby. Let's see some slamming. Oh my goodness. Bunch of sets from John. From Mr. Wick. Heavy. Solemn. John Wick is on Solemn's. We just haven't seen it. <laughs> Duo. Oh, all the tools. Oh, there's Serp though. Okay. Minecon, oh my goodness. What is going on here? The stones. For a spy, does Marvin play spy? I don't think he's on spy. That's spy technology. Yeah, you gotta shuffle the deck, Marvin. Marvin chose violence. Yeah, that hand was crazy. Gotcha. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Last turn, bring the spy over. No mons from Marvin, though. That turn one from Marvin went hard, dude. That turn one was crazy. We're just gonna swing with the spy for 12. Hmm, he couldn't keep the pressure. He needed monsters. Well, yeah, he totally needed a mo anything. Any mon, really. Like, it's something to to uh put some damage out while well, John Wick was at 4k here's an MST Ooh, okay didn't whiff it on a jog okay set one pass can we continue the spy beat down is that the play spy beat spy slam oh Discarding TD. 
Okay, so you can get some more. You can get a lot of damage in. Well, not a lot, but you know, a good chunk of damage in here. You know? 28's no joke. Random MNC versus Turbo is kind of yikes. Yeah. Very scary. I guess it kind of worked out for him. We're going to just do for 16. Just put this part in defense. I like that idea too. Fair enough. Have a good day. Pass turn. What's up, Michael Gray? What is up, Goat World? What is up to you, Michael Gray? Shout out. We're going to Rota. We're tuned into game three between Marvin. John Wick, Sasuke. John Wick get the okay. Is Marvin gonna get a slam on this spy? It goes through. Rooting for my boys, says Michael Gray. Team Evil. Team Evil. We got heavy. Your blood in the water. We're going to solemn that. Okay. Does Sean have another solemn? He does not. Urso is going to do the play anyways. Finish a light in the dark. Thinking on position. Yeah, that heavy was huge. Solemn or not. I guess a lot of life points just, just taken out of you. Because even if... Uh, even if you... Solomon, I mean, a Sork is just going to banish his Sasuke and just poke you for 16. Till you die. Oh, it's BLS. Okay, it's just straight up BLS. Okay. Mirror Force. Oh my goodness. Quick YOLO'd it. Man. Unfortunate. And there's a Mobius. TT. That one. The hubris of Marvin went insane. The, the hubris on both these duelists went crazy just now. <laughs> the hubris. Oh my goodness. Top deck level two. Hitting them off. Whoa. Stand by. Main. Both of these players, man. <laughs> they are going hard. Set. Knock. Knock the Serb. The humorous levels off the charts. John Wick has to answer this somehow. That's gonna be tough. Just gotta top deck it and then also not lose. Very tough. <laughs> it's very tough because the Marvin has got the oh my goodness, he's got the top deck deck. Into a Mobius. I did. I, I, I did mention it. Wow. That's game. John Wick saying GG. Wow. Marvin. Going up to grand freaking finals. Oh, he had the snatch in, in hand. It was a lose-a-lose -lose regardless. Ouch.
Can I jump in calm after this match? Sure. Come on in. I'm in the goformet.com Discord. Marvin, man. Going up to grand freaking finals. Grand finals. I'm going to get this text ready here. <laughs> you told me to read it. You told me to read it. It's Gia, the Greek slayer. <laughs> Who's ready for grand freaking finals? My friend Allies Magician used to go to the same locals as me is watching. Shout out. Shout out. The Earth Aggro Goat, the Gravekeeper Goat of Washington State. Shout out to you, bro. Much love to that man. What a nice DM. Yeah, stopped Costos in the past from getting invite on GFC, and she beat me on last round on Swiss of Worlds. Is he going to take it home this time, or will it be yet another second place obelisk finish? Somebody passed the white sauce for my Giro. Where's the Giro? Got outdrawn there. Made the right call on Snatch. Yeah, that was so... That is super tricky. Because... Either he had both or he had one. Like, the only other play I think you really could have done was, like... BLS Banished Tribute Set. And, like, that feels bad. He also had the TT as well. Yeah, it is very tricky. Very, very tricky. Let's see here. Are they in the game? No. Two minutes. He's asking for two minutes. Need a WC in all this. He is hosting. Chill. The calm before the storm. You gotta put on something more action packed here. We got Gia. Is this good? It's Fantasy Star Online. That's not super high. <laughs> we need some hype music. We got. Let me get the updated bracket. out to go from my Europe for updates. Um, we got Gia. We got Marvin. Finals. Grand freaking finals of Obelisk 36. One of these players are going to be getting an invite. One of these players are going to get an invite to the GOAT Format World Championship. I don't think either of them have gone one um, the season yet. So this will be a first for both of them. Type of one for Gia, type of two for Marvin. Both these players got the moves. Both these players got some moves on them. 
game one he played bad but he picked up the slack game two and better game three i couldn't outplay the tops yeah shout out john wick chris flores john wick shout out man played it tight he played it right Hold up. Before Grand Finals starts, I'm going to need you to like the stream and share the Grand Finals with your friends, with your boys, with your gals. Let everyone know. Let your wife know. Let your children know. Let your girlfriend know. Let your boyfriend know. Let whoever know. Show the stream to your neighbors, like, right now. Like, pull up your phone, run out, go outside, run outside, sprint to your neighbor's house. I'm gonna need you to share it with them. Marvin's back. They're playing! Let's go! We got UI. We got Nemesis. Gia called the Greek Slayer by Zogler, taking on Marvin. The Warrior of Greece. The Greek Gladiator. There we go. The Greek Gladiator. <laughs> Gia starting off. Setting two. Go shoot. What's the hand? Let's see the hand. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Sasuke, Sangan, Warrior Lady, Hot and Judgment. Bunch of Mons. Whole bunch of Mons. Summon Sangan. Wing with Sangan. I'm disappointed by no Abyss Soldier, except for that one game with Oops. I want to see more Abyss. I need more. Oh. Hey! Is that sc 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 Scrub for life? Who are you calling Scrub? Um... <laughs> Looks like a very good start for Gia, not a bad start for Marvin. Yeah, I mean, we got a graceful, we got a pot from Marvin, graceful from Gia. Looking good. Yeah. Rest in peace, John Wick. That was a rough day. Yeah, it was a, it was a, I mean, being locked in that position where you know there's a snatch around and you kind of have to play into. Battle trap is not fun. Not yeah, fun at all. I think I might have maybe could switch Thunder Dragon to defense, but like it wouldn't have mattered. Yeah, I was just... thinking you could maybe even like tribute set your TD. But yeah, it doesn't. It it ended up not really mattering because of the Mobius. The Breaker hitting the Destinado. Destinado popping the Saku. He held the duo. You have a good chance of hitting a good Mon here, hitting Sasuke. Marvin pitching the Warrior Lady too.
Yeah, this is definitely how you want to be opening if you're if you have Kia's deck. Just open the shoot, open the graceful. Get a super early advantage. Marvin gets the surge though with the Sangan. Gonna grab himself a uh, Serp, maybe. That's yeah, a... he's not like down horrendous here or anything either. Like once he draws, he'll back up to four cards going second, and if he has a monster that can run over a breaker, he's already getting his plus back. Right. So between between the the dust tornado trading favorably and the pot of greed, he's not in a terrible position. Yeah, he's kind of just uh, kind of has to ride the wave a little bit. Oh, he's grabbing Donny. Oh. That's interesting. Gia said the whole hand. Oh my gosh. What if it's a pro set storm? Could it be? Yeah, I guess there is a, a one unknown from the pot. All of Greece would... Oh my gosh, what is this? He's just going in. He does have the judgment still. What? Oh. Judge. 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 <laughs> that third on that third on think though. Yeah, that's my thinking emoji. Summon the dawn. Now Marvin made oops mill. Oh my god, he is gonna make oh my Gia god, Mill. No. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh my god. Hit the warrior lady and the kaiku. <laughs> this is there was, I think, surging dawn in the first place was probably a blunder, but I think milling two is compounding this issue. Roberto Alvarado, thank you for the five. Hey, Bluetooth, does Blade Knight have two separate effects? Does the first effect need to be live for the second one to work, or is it separate? They are two separate effects. You can have a Blade Knight be sixteen hundred that can still negate flip effects. Yo, what? You just solemn, solemn. solemn. What is Sasuke swinging in on this BLS? A little treat. Wow. Imagine if this was like a moth. <laughs> right, we're going in, baby. Saku on the Kaiku. No. Don't go into defense position. Save yourself 400 life points. Checking grave. Gave Gia light and dark with that mill. Yeah, That's, no, exactly. Yeah, there were neither. Uh, all pre and BLS are all in deck as well. So this really. There's Moth. Grabbing. Also got her. Got her closer to Magician of Faith. Another great benefit. Graceful. That. Dawn. <laughs> oh. That might have been one of the worst Dawn's eludes of all time. It was because, yeah, for Gia, well, her is, Rhoda was the top deck. Game right? on board. Uh, no, Rhoda was set right here. in the. Um, oh, Rhoda was the set. The right, right. Okay. Yeah, so that BLS was in trouble no matter what. Oh my gosh. These are amazing cards to discard. Yeah. Especially in this matchup here. I mean, that Blade Knight is, is threatening lethal. Yeah, um, no yep. worries, Roberto Alvarado. Is. My good friend. Hopefully all is well. And yeah, that's oh. game one. Well. Marvin's probably just super nervous right now. Gotta... Gotta get his head in the game. Okay, it says, who's that in the booth with Bluetooth? This is my good friend, Michael Gray. PWCQ evil for life, scrub for life. PWCQ winner at the start of the season. Are you playing tomorrow? I can't can't divulge such information. Oh my goodness! <laughs> what the hell is Gia's sleeves? That's what I want to know. That's a. Those are Sky Strikers. Uh, that's a Sky Striker oh, really? card. Yeah, it's a it's a monster. 
Uh, Yugi Boomer over here. I have no no idea about such things. He is uh, DB Pictures, also a Sky Striker. Oh, there's more than one. I think uh, I forget the lore. I think I think in her picture is uh, a Sky Striker, and she has like different oh. suits. I think. I leave oh, for 10 wow. minutes to take a phone call. Come back to find out Marvin won. What'd you do? <laughs> I didn't do anything. I'm just calling it how I see it. You get a bounce. Oh my gosh. Dude. This is lit. You know, I'm a big lock Willie up. I don't think he should be free, but this is hype. I would chain to Abyss. Oh. Destinado. Okay. Well, that is sure. It's an archetype. Yeah, it's a, it's an archetype, but I'm not sure if it's oh, different people or oh, not. Okay. Wait a minute. You say... Oh, no. Flag. You made the thumb, I am sure. Was there a thumbs up from Gia? There was a thumbs up, but I think she meant for the summon. She was like just trying to respond to that and there was too much lag is what she's saying because obviously she would chain this i was lagging and said thumbs up to tom1 to m1 okay. on my screen i see that yes okay yeah so no harm no foul obviously right the dust tornado is probably gonna get chained yeah it wouldn't make sense otherwise like why would you uh yeah why wouldn't you how far can we go with Willie here? I need to go the distance. Drive? Oh, well, see, this makes it awkward for your soldier. And this makes it awkward because of the soldier out oh. here. Same type. Yeah, well, there's no way that... I don't think there's any way Gia would do this and not hitch to get rid of uh, Abyss. Cause... Right. It, it is funny, though. It the is only reason funny. you would do this is because you don't have a better play. Right. But like something's gotta be worth discarding. You're already gonna go neg one on this. You just take less damage. Alright, well damage is actually about the same. I'm grabbing a warrior lady. I have less another... Odds. Pitching seven tools. Oh. That one you know pass. What? That's a that's a good use of seven tools. I think that's about <laughs> what you should Although I did see the seven tools on a mirror force earlier, that was kind that, of... That that hit that went big. That was when a she used there. that tool. Then that went big. Yeah, that's a kind of one of those situations that makes you consider it before you stop again. Right. Is this Mobius, we got Mobius. Oh. Are you feeling frosty? And that secures Marvin's dark or light, I mean, for BLS. We're gonna solemn. Yeah. yeah. I don't know about the when you have a serpent already in oh, okay, solemn. maybe it's just game. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's game. Never mind. I was gonna say something, but I think that he had a good hand on the situation. Yeah. All makes it pretty easy. Going to game three. Gia, Marvin, can Marvin do the bracket reset? Do you believe in against miracles? against what a uh, against the person that Zogler has titled the Greek Slayer? Greek Slayer, huh? <laughs> yeah, Gia, the Greek Slayer. Pot, good card. Uh, this is how you win an obelisk. <laughs> oh, no shade of gear. Like, you know, <laughs> you're gonna play Pot of Greed it's if you so open funny, it, but like, <laughs> this is how you win tournaments. This is, this is a lot of how you win tournaments, is you draw very well. Right. No, I don't, I don't, he, I, yeah, I get that. It's just so you funny you when you say You don't see gear around a lot in a lot of the tournaments, but usually when you. She decides to play. She does well. Yeah, she's good. She's a great player. Oh, yeah. We got Jar oh. to the Dawn. 
Just trying to get a little hand protection, hide the goodies. There might be some very good ones in there. Oh! That's unfortunate. That's a pretty good one. That's a very good one. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I think that might have been the other one. Yeah, okay. What if that was drawn off the jar? That would be scary. You, you'd be like, well, at least he hit, at least he hit my BLS. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but, um, pot, pot graceful, pretty good. Yes. Pot graceful, and having the BLS even in the hand is, was, was yeah. pretty awesome. Pitching Saku. Armor. So what have we seen from Marvin? Just like a warrior deck with Abyss Soldiers and Serpent in it? Yeah, and the Sangan and Mobius, stuff like that, yeah. Have we seen Mobius Game 1? No. No All Mobius right. Game 1, just Game 2. Snatch. Yeah, this also felt like it was always going to happen. You know what would go hard, though? This soldier, send your dawn back to your hand. I like it. You know, all right. Dawn is that's not so fair. unloyal. He he's a traitor. For he's sure. like, God, I, if I ever play Don, I feel like I always have to pair it up with like Dust Tornado. Like it's so scary. Oh. Oh, Marvin's got his own. Graceful. Oh, I must. Yeah, gain the 1K. Right. Gain the 1K from Snatch. Now Grace. Now Grace, yeah. yeah. Oh. Isn't Sangan? That's a dart. Yeah. I mean, if it went like Storm, Solemn, Solemn, BLS, the game's just over. Yeah, go to match two. You're getting yep. Rota. That's another, another interesting. Marvin, I believe, has gotten twice. He's gotten second twice, and I think he might have reset both times and lost the reset. <sighs> So tragic. Maybe it was just once, but I know the first time he definitely really was versus uh, Dan Kasi. Won mm. the first match, but I think he got 2 0 the second match. That is tragic. Just right there and just slips away. Yeah. We're choosing to not strike with the Blade Knight. Zing! Oh no. Getting to left and right, not the center. That is unfortunate. I'm not going to say that's bad. That is very bad. You don't want that to happen. It, oh! Yeah, okay. This makes sense. But you are... Oh! Oh! oh my goodness! Seven that's, tools! So, seven tools... Might be the <laughs> might win the tournament. Oh no, Mob. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, that was a decisive uh, sequence of trap cards. That was crazy. GG's. Gia wins. Gia, your new. The tools. Champion. <laughs> the tools. Congratulations to Gia for securing quick match. Her that invite. A, that game three was fast. Slobber knocker. Yeah, blow for blow. Man, the zing and the seven tools secured that bag. Yeah, that 
was a pretty insane <laughs> and tools of the bandit. Ultra Instinct popping off in chat. JDZ's popping off too. SCC champ, Kyle Lopez. <laughs> minus 1,000. <laughs> Spamming <laughs> minus 1,000 in the chat. Yeah. That was the Ultra Instinct. <laughs> <laughs> Gia, congratulations, Gia. U I U I U I U I U I U I U I. <laughs> wow. What did you think of that match, Michael uh, Gray, for life? It, uh, it was decisive. I also think that mm, searching Don Zalu might have been a. a blunder in one yeah the seven tools did go kind of the seven tools went where it looked particularly they looked good but like, i'm not sure how much different they were than like having a dust tornado because you would have just dust tornado that but you can't argue with the success today until tomorrow until tomorrow what's happening yeah, tomorrow start, go I'll world war one Well, thank you for hopping in the booth, sure. man. Thank you for hosting. That was a very interesting watch. Absolutely. I'm going to congrats I'm gonna... to all the participants. Yeah, congratulations to everybody playing. You know, once you reach Obelisk, it's still that's hard. That's kind of hard to do, man. You know, I I know Michael Gray here. My good friend Michael Gray has gone up to a couple of them, right? Or is it just the one? No, I just made one this season and got out in eighth. So yes, yeah, sometimes they can be challenging. Yeah. It's not easy to do. So shout out to everybody that made it to the Obelisk 36. And then shout out to Marvin. Another second. Man. You can't Next make time. it up. You know what they say. Fourth time's the charm. <laughs> you high baby air horns. Bro, you can't dust her to solo oh. judgment. <laughs> but... Yes, you can. <laughs> Watch me. I do it all the time. <laughs> all right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sign... <laughs> I'm going to sign off for now, y'all. Uh, tomorrow, play in the GOAT World War One. I'll be playing in it. Um, Scrub for life here is, is being very mysterious about his participation. But, you know, have some fun tomorrow. Have a great weekend.